Have you ever felt like quitting? Well, today I want to encourage you. This message is called Don't Quit because you're making progress. Listen, I've been through Joyce Meyer's book, Battlefield of the Mind, so many times that the enemy would like me to feel guilty about it for having to go through it so many times and not grasping the information and making changes in my life. But listen, I am making progress. Every single time I read the book or listen to it or listen to messages that Joy still preaches on it, I am making progress. Listen, I learn something new every single time I go through the book and it takes me just that much farther in my relationship with the Lord and it takes me just that much farther in my quest to overcome the battles in my life. Listen, the lies in my mind that Satan has planted should not be there forever. I have to make an appoint to renew my mind with scripture so that I can walk in victory. Listen, so I want to encourage you today to not quit. Whatever it is that the Lord is working on you about, if you continue to have to go over and over the same thing multiple times, that is not a bad thing. Listen, the Lord is trying to move you further in that area. He's trying to help you to overcome that battle once and for all, not to just make tiny progress and stop there. He wants you to make multiple tiny steps toward victory. The Lord is trying to move you further in that area. Maybe it's something you battle with and maybe it's something like a temptation for you, something that doesn't go away overnight. Yes, the Lord can miraculously deliver us from any battle, but he doesn't always deliver us instantaneously. Sometimes there's work that needs to be done. There's strongholds in our mind that needs to be broken, and it takes time. But praise God that he does not leave us where he found us. He refuses to leave us where he found us. He wants us to grow and mature in our relationship with him. He wants us to be continuously moving forward in life with him. And that, my friend, is a good, good thing. That's One of the things that I love so much about the Lord is that he refuses to leave us where he found us and he wants the very, very best for us. He always wants us to improve. He wants to take us higher than we ever thought we could possibly go. But let me share a little something with you, a little warning. There are people in your life who are not going to be happy when you have a victory in your life. It's unfortunate, but when you overcome an overeating habit or when you overcome an emotional valley or when you overcome a drinking problem or when you have an experience with God that's a mountaintop experience and he creates positive habits in your life, it's unfortunate, but some people are jealous and they will not celebrate your victories with you. But you know who will? You know who does every single time? The Lord. He is always ready to celebrate a victory with you. And I pray that you do have people in your life that care deeply about you and your relationship with the Lord and you walking in victory and that they do celebrate those victorious times with you because the Lord wants us to do life together, right? So right now, if you're feeling like you're doing life alone, I want to encourage you that I am here for you. This is more than just a channel. This is a group of people who I personally care deeply about because you guys are God's children and so am I. And we are women who he has called to grow and mature in a relationship with him so that we can have an effect, so that we can have an impact on those around us, the people that he has placed in our life to directly affect 
He's done it for every single one of us. So if you feel like you're alone, I want you to step outside of your comfort zone. I want you to pray to God that he would bring people into your life that you can walk out this Christian life with, the ones that will celebrate your victories with you. So that's really what this channel is about. It's about building women up in their most holy faith so that they can not only live in victory, but also so that they can help others on the same journey so that they don't quit because of the setbacks that they will face. I hope that explains you because that explains me. I deeply care about God's family and I want to help in any way I can when you feel like you are going through setbacks, when you feel like you are so overwhelmed by the challenges in your life. Listen, a lot of us face battles that we think are going to overcome us. Sometimes we think those battles are literally going to kill us. But when we have the Lord on our side and his people rooting for us and helping us, we can't quit. But we have to continue. We have to continue to push forward. We have to continue to grow and mature and seek and search the Lord for everything that he has for us. You know, many of you know, if you watch my channel for any length of time, that I was diagnosed with MS I think like 13 years ago, you know, and during that time, I wanted to quit. I wanted to give up. I was angry with the Lord. I was frustrated. And there was a stronghold created in my mind. There was a stronghold created in my thinking against the Lord. And it took me five years to break that stronghold. Yes, friends, five years years. The Lord cares more about our hearts and our minds than he does about delivering us overnight. It is a process and we have to have determination and perseverance to go when things get tough, to keep moving forward when we feel like there is no progress being made. We have got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And that's why it is so important to renew our minds because the enemy is going to come for our minds. He's going to come to plant more lies in our minds. And we have got to overcome him with the word of God. The Lord does wait patiently for us to make progress in the areas that we are battling. And it's a good, good thing because that's what he did for me. He helped me grow my do not quit muscle during the the initial MS diagnosis phase. He allowed me to be trained by his word and to renew my mind diligently with scripture to know that he wants the best for me and he's going to do whatever it takes for me to live the life that he created me to live. And he's going to do the same for you. So this message is entitled, Don't Quit. Listen to me. Don't quit if you've been battling for days, for weeks, for months, for years. Listen, I get it. The struggle is real. But As long as you keep going, as long as you keep pressing on, as long as you keep pressing in with the Lord, you are going to make it, friend, because he will never leave you nor forsake you. He's going to be right there with you. And if you follow this channel for any length of time, you're going to know that I am going to be right here with you as well, because I know what it's like to be alone. I live in a small community, and when I became a believer in Jesus Christ, there were many days that I felt alone, but I just kept pressing in. I kept pursuing the things of the Lord, and the Lord has blessed me beyond my wildest dreams, and I want to share that enthusiasm with you. I feel like the Lord has called me to encourage the church. The church is you and I, friend. It is not a building The church is a body of believers that follow the Lord Jesus Christ. So today, I just want to encourage you to understand that the struggle is real, but the battle does not belong to you. It belongs 
to the Lord. So we must allow the Lord to fight our battles through Scripture, through renewing our mind, through declaring His Word over our life. Listen, you are more than a conqueror through Him who loved you. Listen, greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. You can overcome the world because Jesus Christ overcame the world. That's what the Word says. We got this. You got this. You in the Lord have got this. And you are going to overcome every single battle that you are in because the Lord will not leave you nor forsake you. How many times have you felt like giving up? Listen, I have felt like giving up many, many times in my life. But since becoming a believer, there is such power in God's word. There is so much power in prayer in the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us to help us overcome every single battle that we face. So I want to encourage you to renew your mind in scripture, to record them on three by five cards. That's what I do. I record scripture on three by five cards and I have them just setting with me so that I can just look down at them and just quote them real quick. Why? Because I'm, I'm, memorizing the word, but then I'm also meditating on the word so that I can live out the word of Jesus Christ. And that is our victory plan. That should be our battle strategy to memorize scripture, to meditate on scripture, and then to live scripture out. That is where our power comes from. We have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. So he gives us that don't quit power that we need when in our flesh we want to give up so bad. But we can't and we won't because God will never quit on us. So I don't want you to ever quit on the Lord. Yes, you may veer off track sometimes. Yes, you may throw in the towel and say, I'm done. That's it. I'm done. But friend, as a true believer in Jesus Christ, as a real follower of Jesus Christ, there's no way to 100% quit and never get back in the battle. So do what you have to do today if you're not in a battle, because I'm sorry, friend, but there is a battle coming. But if you're in the midst of a battle, get your word out, the sword of the spirit. That is what the Bible is called. And I want you to memorize scripture. I want you to meditate on scripture. And I want you to live it out. And the enemy will not be able to overcome you. Amen. Amen. I hope you found encouragement in that word. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an encouraging word. Okay, take care. God bless.